Well, Brew. Well, Brew, I'd uh, like to say uh, thanks to you and your crew for an outstanding mission. You made the space station much better than it was before. You gave us more power, symmetry, which is not uh, to be underrated, and uh, you gave us a, a, a new crew member. Uh, you're giving Sandy a ride back home. Uh, you brought up some equipment that we really needed for a six-person crew. And uh, that's uh, what uh, we were really hoping to get done with Expedition 18, was uh, getting ready for a six-person crew. And Sandy, the six-person crew, when they get up here, they're going to be thanking you for all your organization, all your hard work, the things that you build on board. You, you've done an outstanding job, and I'd like to say thank you. So uh, all of you guys, uh, this is the toughest part of the mission, at least for me. You know, this is, on one hand, it's a moment of triumph. You're going to shut the hatches and, and get ready and undock. And yet, on the other hand, we're going to really be missing you. Well, it was really great having you up here and uh, all the things we got to talk about and do together. I mean, that's what, uh, that's what the dreams in our lives are made of. So uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Thanks, uh, Spank. Uh, thank you very much. I, you know, on behalf of our crew, the STS-119 crew, which now includes Sandy, uh, we are very, very appreciative uh, for the hospitality you all extended to us. You were very well prepared for us. You were happy to, uh, to help us where we needed help. And uh, you were uh, key and instrumental in getting three good EVAs out the door and back in safely. Uh, we're very proud to have uh, left the space station with more power, hopefully power that for many, many years will provide uh, very, very useful research uh, to, to your future payloads. Um, we're most proud, though, of working with a, a great international team, which we have three countries represented here, uh, our, our country, the United States, uh, Yuri's country, Russia, and Koichi's country of Japan. Uh, Yuri, yeah, you're welcome. We, many of us didn't know you very well before we got here. But you, you're you're a you're a great crewmate. Uh, you, you're uh, we all would be very proud to to, to work long duration with you, Yuri. Uh, thank you very much for welcoming us in and uh, and being such a great uh, crew partner. In Kuwait, it's gonna be tough to leave you, but uh, you were a great member of STS-119. Uh, I'm very very proud that you're you're with us. You're on our patch. Like I say, you're always gonna be a member of STS-119. You've done a lot of great work for us, and uh, I wish you the very best. Uh, and we do look forward to seeing you back home in Houston when your expedition is over. You, Spank, you're an awesome commander. Best of luck. You got a, just a, another couple of weeks here. Uh, have a happy travels, and we'll, let's get together when you get back. Thank you very much. This is Mission Control Houston. You're watching as the two crews, the in International Space Station Expedition 18 crew, now complete with their new flight engineer, Japanese astronaut Koichi Wakata, the space shuttle Discovery crew, giving some hugs and uh, preparing to take Sandy Magnus home after she's wrapping up her long duration stay, now after 134 days in space. She arrived on the last space shuttle mission, STS-126 in November, and has spent 129 days on the International Space Station. Once they close the hatches in a few moments, they'll have uh, spent more than eight days of joint docked operations, including three spacewalks and the addition of the final set of uh, solar array wings to the International Space Station. As you heard, the commanders there reflecting on the new symmetry of the International Space Station, complete with its final truss segment and final pair of power generating wings.
South Houston on the big loop, no response required. We're putting uh, procedure 4.102 joint ops, uh, shuttle ISS duct removal and hatch closing, step two in work now. Houston, this is Station on 2. Rick, uh, we didn't hear everything you said. Could you say again, please? Yeah, Mike, we're just letting you know that in the uh, Joint Ops book, Procedure 4.102, which is the shuttle ISS duct removal and hatch closing, we're putting Step 2 in work now. Okay, copy. Thank you very much. And uh, we understand we can start the, this uh, this. Uh, uh, this uh, procedure, and uh, we understand you guys will be doing steps two and three. That is correct, Mike. This is Mission Control Houston with a zoomed in view of the pressurized mating adapter connecting the International Space Station to Space Shuttle Discovery. Just a few moments ago, the two, the two crews uh, joined in the Harmony module for some uh, final parting remarks before their final configurations and the hatch closure between the two spacecraft. Ultimately, there are two hatches, one that uh, 
is on the shuttle side, if you will, and the other here on the interior view of the International Space Station. And it's that hatch closure that marks the uh, official closing between the two spacecraft. Tony, doing this. Your radio, I'll give you an interconnect return.